Friends, ladies and gentlemen, I shall be brief. I am failing after all, Ling Bing's dictum. Talk less, work more, talk business. As I know I'm happily retired, and my runway to sunset is getting shorter. Hence, I accept invitations to grace public events only selectively. Although I do not know Kuala Bing well, I do respect him. For his business acumen and significant economic contributions to Singapore. Moreover, we are of the same age, barely the same year. I see a parallel between his and my life journeys in terms of mission, where they were travelled along different tracks. Kuala Bing's father and uncles belonged to the pioneer generation of businessmen who migrated to Singapore from China. They contributed to the growth of Singapore's vibrant private sector, just as Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, Mr. Ong Pang Boon, and the other old guards and the foundations need the foundations of politics and governance for Singapore's success. So one side business, the other side politics. Ling Bing and his cousins inherited the business from their parents and expanded it. They turned the companies into global conglomerates and established themselves as leaders in property, hotels, finance, and other sectors. As I gleaned from Kaling Bing's biography, he started preparing for a leadership transition in CDL. In politics, more so than in business, small and predictable leadership transition based on merit, is key to continued success. Mr. Lee Kuan Yew could not simply pass Singapore to his son, nor did he want to. He did not believe in creating a political dynasty. He started a practice of each generation of cabinet ministers choosing their own leader. I was a second generation leader we had to keep Singapore going after Lee Kuan Yew stepped down as Prime Minister. Ling Bing is one of the second generation quacks who has to grow the companies that his father and uncles left them. Both Ling Bing's company in Singapore now face similar leadership transition points. Ling Bing is preparing the next generation of quacks to succeed him, while Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung is preparing to hand over the reins of national leadership to DPN Lawrence Wong and the 4G team. In business, it is perfectly understandable to look for successes within the family first. However, in Singapore politics, we do not look inside the family first for the next leader. The reason is simple. In business, the majority shareholder decides on who he wants to protect and grow his wealth. In politics, all Singaporeans are equal shareholders of the country. So despite this difference, the next generation of both political leaders and business leaders must bring with them fresh ideas and renewed vigor to take the country or the organizations forward. As Ling Bing noted, businesses and government do not operate in isolation, independent of each other. There is a symbolic relationship between government and businesses. They need one another to survive and thrive. We need a strong, stable and good government to create an ecosystem for businesses to invest, innovate, and most importantly, create good jobs for Singaporeans. This needs continued growth, which improves the lives of Singaporeans and bolsters business confidence and political stability. We have enjoyed this virtuous cycle for over six decades and must perpetuate it. 
From Pacing Ray's book, which is being launched today, we learn not just about Kremlin being and also where it picks to succeed in business and how to build institutions that last.